What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Uh, we're going to continue working on the hatch and today's goal is going to be working on the radiator fan, mounting it up to our radiator, hooking up the coolant switch and uh, start figuring out the wiring for the radiator fan. So the wiring in detail will be more onto the wiring video that I'm doing for the car. But today we're going to start working on the radiator's wire since we're going to have to modify a little bit just to try to keep it as OEM as possible. So let's go out to the hatch. Also, little push that I'm trying to do before we get into today's video. If you're new here or if you're a viewer, click the like button down below. I don't usually ask for it, but I'm trying to push to try to reach a certain goal. And that would help me out a lot. Just drop a like guys, I appreciate it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and remove our radiator so we can work on it outside of the car. Okay, so our pirate racing radiator is now out. Now that we got our stock radiator out, uh, we're not gonna be reusing the fan off this one too bulky what we do need is we need this wiring this little harness that comes up here and has the plug which leads to this little plug right here which is for the radiator um wire and this wiring leads all the way to the fuse box over here i believe it's for the cooling fan relay this is where it plugs to so we're gonna try to use this whole system with the oem harness i'm hoping that it works kind of like stock since i don't have k pro which is the program a lot of people are using and they're saying that it just runs it on its own but i don't have k pro so this is what we're going to try to do try to take off this harness off of here we might just have to cut it off right here and then onto our new radiator fan and bam we have another oem radiator bit over we have a fan and has two blue wires and these blue wires we're going to splice onto this harness and this harness should be able if not, we might need to extend this wiring in order to clear from the driver's side engine bay all the way to where the harness meets the plug. So that is basically what we're going to be working on today. And um, it is already installed with zip ties, which is what I was going to install it with over here. I don't know how the, the whole kit for the radiator installation, but if zip ties works, we'll make it work like that. We ran into our first issue. Something I definitely wasn't looking forward to. This thing just doesn't even fit. It's way too big. Um, even like that, it doesn't fit. So this kind of puts a, a halt to our day. Now I don't necessarily know what I want to do. Um, I'm probably gonna have to just end up buying a fan, which honestly sucks, but it is what it is moving on to our next thing uh we got a hybrid racing fan switch we're gonna go ahead and install this one to this little bung these are pre-made bungs i believe this is the coolant temp sensor bung if you want to use that and then this is the fan switch bung i'm not going to be using this one i'm going to be using a different location in the engine bay uh but for now let's install this With the fan switch, this thing does seem, seem to fit. Not perfectly because over here we have this little space and then over here it's kind of sitting on it and then you look under it, pretty big gap. I was watching a video and the guy said something about raising it up a little bit and even like the whole like fan shroud was raised up a little bit. I don't know what that's for. So we'll go ahead and try to zip tie it down at this location. Try to keep it simple today. Alrighty, so I did a thing. I've been messing around a little bit with this and I uh, ended up using zip ties. I didn't have long enough zip ties, but you know, the wonders of zip ties, you can, you can use two of them, connect them, and then bam. So, oh, frick. Oh, damn, I messed up. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to these. Oh, that freaking sucks. I'm not gonna stress over it. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, I was just trying to make it work, guys. All right. I know. I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I just wanted to see what I could do for now. But I went. I went a little too. I went a little too far. So it's fine for now. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting up that wiring. Start splicing it up to here. So 
So, got a temporary connection onto the harness to the fan. Blue to blue, black to black. Wiring is officially set. Fan switch is officially installed. And uh, there's nothing else but to just mount it up onto the vehicle. And hopefully it works in the future once I start testing it. That bum over there. Everything is officially installed. Here's our little harness. It's already plugged up to our harness for the radiators. And uh, this little relay, we just have to find a little spot to mount it up somewhere in here. Get it nice and hidden, nice and tucked. Route this somewhere under here. And bam, that is basically our radiator fan situation. Should be okay for testing purposes. And it'll give me a little taste to see if it even starts to begin with, but also when does it start, if it's based off the coolant temp sensor, which is gonna be a whole nother ordeal that I will most likely be dealing with once I do the wiring video. So stay tuned for that. One thing I learned with today's video is I guess there is a purpose for the hybrid racing radiator fan mount kit. I try to cheap out, use some zip ties you run the risk of bending some fins so just buy the kit guys I'm, I'm sure it was cheap i just didn't even look into it i didn't even want to pay attention to that don't follow that mistake because you might end up having to buy another radiator in the future i don't know yet but regardless that's it for today's video all i'm going to ask if you're still here is just drop a uh, just drop a like that's it help me beat the algorithm i'm trying to grow the channel and that's all i ask just drop one of these bad boys for me and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video god bless